When I first loaded the model I made my signature move and forgot to enable the GPU runtime in the notebook instance. I decided to take this opportunity to experiment with CPU-only performance of the model. The model is not at all resource intensive which is a major plus. Even when chunking through tokens, this 1.1 billion parameter workhorse was still using less than 2 gigabytes of RAM. On the flip side, it did produce less than one token per second as well. Even at only 256 tokens, outputs took well over two minutes each to produce. I took this opportunity to query the model as to how many wood chips the average person could consume in one sitting. I have to admit, I was rather impressed with the model's response, which is as follows. According to a study published in the Journal of Nutrition in 2014, humans can eat about 120 grams about 4 ounces of wood chips in one sitting. This amount is roughly equivalent to about 20 large maple leaves. However, it's important to note that the amount of wood chips you can eat in one sitting will vary depending on your body size, activity level, and dietary preferences. It's always a good idea to check with your doctor or a registered dietitian before trying to consume large quantities of wood chips. After a few experiments and a lot of waiting for tokens to generate, I decided to experiment with the model in its full GPU glory. I finished my testing and was beyond impressed with this model. I dare say that it is the first model in this particular parameter class that I have tested that I think has real-world useful applications. This is amazing, as Tinalama is a completely open-sourced model with an unrestricted license, as opposed to something such as the Phi models, which is explicitly banned from commercial use. Looking at the benchmark results confirms this for me across the board as well, though I am very skeptical of model benchmarks at this point in time. Overall, the model produces very high quality outputs and requires virtually no resources. The minimum requirements to run the model are basically any computer built within the past 10 years. I am specifically excited for model improvements in this class. Not only am I excited for increased performance, but I think increased performance in smaller and smaller packages is the true key to innovation. Much like computers during the 1950s took up an entire room and had memory and calculation capabilities that my cell phone laughs at, the future of I models is smaller and smaller. While I do think there is a theoretical limit when it comes to the size an LLM model can be shrunk down to in terms of parameters, it is promising to observe that it appears like we will be able to achieve exceptional performance out of a model even in the 1 billion parameter range. Overall, I personally place Tinalama as hands down, the new current top contender in the 1 billion parameter weight class.